special triangles. Why are they so special? Because it helps us in trigonometry and in geometry. It's cheap and easy, it's quick. It helps us get exact values in our trigonometry. Okay, there's two special triangles, the 45-45-90 triangle and also the 30-60-90 triangle. Why don't we take a look at the 30-60-90 first. In order to take a look at the 30-60-90, we need to take a look at an isosceles triangle. How about an equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle means that all the sides are the same. And then from geometry, if all the sides are the same, then so are the angles. If the sum of the interior angles add up to be 180, and they all have to be the same, then 180 by 3 is 60. So all of these are 60 degrees. Yeah, right? That one's 60 degrees also? What I want to do is I want to find the altitude. And, all right. So the altitude has bisected that angle. Both of these are 30. Both of these are 30. Now I just want to consider one half of that triangle where this one's 30, this one's 60, and this one's 90 because my altitude's perpendicular to my other side. All right, fine. Now, now work with me on this. If this little piece here is x, what's that whole side? Oh, then that one's also x because it bisected that side. Doesn't look like it in my picture, but it did. All right, so the whole side is 2x. Great. But this is an equilateral triangle, so this one is also 2x. So now my little side opposite my 30 is x, and this one's 2x. So if we use our Pythagorean formula, we have x, why don't we just call this k squared plus k squared is 2x squared. All right, fine. Sure, so this is x squared plus k squared is, bam, 4x squared. So if I bring that right over here, then I have, then I have, then I have, subtracting an x off each side, k squared is 3x squared. I take the square root of both sides, and I have k going to be plus or minus the square root of 3 x's squared, but hey, we're dealing with distance, so I don't need to worry about that negative sign. All right, so then I have the square root of 3 times the absolute value of x, but once again, we're dealing with distance. Distance is positive, so I don't need the absolute value marks. So I see k going to be root 3x, so instead of k being here, I'm going to replace it with root 3x. Very nice. So now if I had this 36 D90 triangle in any persuasion I want, why don't I lay it flat? All right, just for some flavor. With this being my 30, this being my 60, and this being my 90. What if they told you one of the sides? I don't care which side. Which one do you want? Okay, the hypotenuse, and what do you want the hypotenuse to be? Really? 21? No. All right. The hypotenuse is 21. They want you to find the remaining sides if the hypotenuse of a 36 to 90 triangle is 21. Well, we see here the hypotenuse is 2x. So I have 21 is equal to 2x. And then, and then, and then x gonna be 21 halves. Now these aren't nice numbers, but they're your numbers. So we're gonna work with it. X just happens to be the length of the small side. So this is 21 halves. All right, sure. So we see the altitude of our equilateral triangle is going to be 3 roots x or the side opposite the 60. So the side opposite the 60 is going to be 21 halves root 3. It's disgusting. It's ugly. But it works. And it's yours. 
the other sport are special triangles. We just gotten off the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now what I want to do is entertain the 45, 45, 90 triangle. In order to do that, I need to draw a triangle that has two 45 degree angles. 45 degree angles. All right, fine. Because the angles are the same, this triangle is going to be isosceles. Um, meaning the two legs are going to be the same length. But we have the interior angles of a triangle have to add to be 180. This being said, that's 90 degrees or a right triangle, right? Right. So the legs are the same. I don't know what they're going to be. Let's call them X. Okay. If I want to find the length of that other side, why don't we call it K? So then I use my Pythagorean theorem and I have x squared plus x squared is k squared. Not one of them, but 2x's squared is k squared. And k going to be the square root of 2x. That just so happens to be the square root of 2 times the absolute value of x. But once again, we're talking about distances here, and distances are positive, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my absolute value bars because they are not necessary. So then k here is really the square root of 2 times x. That's your 45, 45, 90 triangle. So now if you're given the information that you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and they just give you one of the sides, we can find the rest of the sides. Perhaps they give you um, this 45, 45, 90 triangle. And then they give you a side. Which side? I don't care. This side? Oh, geez. What do you want it to be? Again, 21. All right, so in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, we see that our short legs are the same length. So if this is x and that's x, that makes this side also 21. And then our third side, our hypotenuse, is going to be root 2 times x. So this is going to be 21 root 2. The numbers are ugly, but they're yours. And that's your special triangle.